are you ready for a quiz? I have 10 simple questions with me to test your English language skills. After I ask each question, you will get a timer of 5 seconds, after which I will tell you the correct answer and also the reason behind it. So, I hope you're ready. Let's start. Question number 1. Do you think it dash rain tomorrow? And your options are is going to or will? And the correct answer is will. So the correct sentence will be do you think it will rain tomorrow? And the reason is we use will for future events to predict something will happen. Whereas we use is going for present events when we are certain that something will happen for sure. So when you are certain you can say I think it is going to rain today. Question number two. Have you been dash France? And your options are in or to. And the correct answer is, have you been to France? See, when you say I have been in France for a month, it means you are still in France. But when you say I have been to France, it means you visited France and now you're back home. Moving on to our next question. Can I dash your notebook? And your options are lend or borrow. And the correct answer is borrow. So the correct sentence will be, can I borrow your notebook? See, borrow means to take something from someone knowing that you will give it back to them. Lend means to give something to someone expecting to get it back. Now imagine you and I go shopping and I forget my purse. So then I can ask, can I borrow some money? And then you can lend me some. Question number four. I dash, I clear the interview tomorrow. And your options are wish or hope. The correct answer is, I hope I clear the interview tomorrow. Most of you get confused with the usage of wish and hope. Wish is something that is likely to happen, you know, like a desire or an impossible want. Whereas hope is something that is more likely to happen. For example, I wish I were taller or I hope I clear the examination or I hope these videos are really helpful for you guys. Moving on to our next question. He succeeded because he dashed hard and the options are works or world. And the correct answer is worked. See, the reason is that the main clause he succeeded is in past tense. So the subordinate clause will also be in past tense. So the correct answer will be he succeeded because he worked hard. Question number six. Tell me which sentence is correct. He is a senior to me or he is a senior than me. And the correct sentence is he is a senior to me. And the reason is that adjectives such as superior, inferior, senior, junior are always followed by two and not that. Moving on to our next question. How long dash working in this office? And your options are are you or have you been? And the correct answer is have you been? The reason is that we use have been when we talk about an action that began in the past and still continues in the present. So the correct answer will be how long have you been working in this office? Question number 8. They have put speed bumps on the road to dash accidents and your options are prevent or avoid. And the correct answer is prevent. Prevent means to stop something from happening or to stop someone from doing something. Whereas avoid means to keep away from something. Like I try to avoid junk food so that I do not gain weight. And now it's time for question number 9. Do you mind if I open the window? I'd rather you dash. And your options are don't or won't. And the correct answer is don't. Don't is the short form of do not that we use when we talk about the present and won't is the short form of will not that we use when we talk about the future. So according to the question, the correct answer will be don't. And now it's time for our last question that is to check your vocabulary. My phone was dashed from my car yesterday and your options are stolen or robbed.
and the correct answer is stolen. Robbed focuses on the person or place from which the thing is taken and stolen focuses on the thing that is taken. So I hope you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new today. Don't forget to write down your scores in the comment section below and also tell me which was the most confusing question for you. I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care and happy learning. Ingvarta, your English practice playground. No judgment, only motivation and constructive feedback. Join today.